Center. We go to number three, Enrique Bradfield Jr. Hashtag Anchor Down Vandy Boys. Uh, Reese, I'm curious, what's your take on Enrique Bradfield? He is one of the fastest players in all of baseball already. Like even in, even though he's only been a double A, he's got the crazy sort of speed that we sort of want to chase. If you watched him race Chandler Simpson, would you rather watch that than a Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight? That's what I would rather watch personally. Um, I know this is where we're recording this after that happened, but Enrique Bradfield Jr. is just smooth. Like he's like velvet, like velvetly smooth up there in center field. He is so good. There's such a high floor. The question is what does the power grade out at at the end of the day? Like, is he, does he ever get to double digits? I don't think so, but when you steal 74 bases, I don't go to efficiency two and hit 270 all the way up to double A, I think you, you have a very high floor. It's kind of an interesting juxtaposition to Vance Honeycutt. Enrique Bradfield is floor, well, Vance with, with, with a pretty high ish ceiling, where like the floor and the ceiling on Vance on uh, um, Bradfield is just is is pretty is it's kind of the same. Like there's not much room to maneuver, but it doesn't mean that he's not going to be a good big leaguer. And like he can kind of max out at maybe if he hits eight home runs in a season, I think that's awesome. If he hits ten, this dude's a fantasy stud. Like I think, and he's like a really good major leaguer. The defense in center field is good enough that it and the speed. I think he's just going to be a consistent pain in the behind for any team when he's on the bases. Well said. I do have to call out, though, that I don't think Chandler Simpson and Enrique Bradfield is going to be your Tyson and Jake Paul fight. I think that would be like Kenny Lofton against either of them. Uh, just the age discrepancy with Tyson and Paul, uh, a sad deal. But this isn't a path to the ring. It's path to the show. And uh, Bradfield, again, like you said, the floor, beautiful. Uh, so high, such a high likelihood major leaguer. And... Reese, we, we said it with Simpson, it's almost the dream profile for your leadoff batter with Enrique Bradfield. He hits, he's patient enough to get on base, and then when he's on base, he does damage. I think that this is, again, a 40-plus steal type guy with a 270 average, and I think 10 home runs may not be as out of reach um, as you might, but I do think that we're both soundly in Bradfield's camp as kind of, again, that ideal leadoff batter. Uh, very old school baseball type thing, but I think he can make it work in the modern game, don't you? I do. I think that with the new rules in place, he can be an absolute menace on the base paths. Like, pitchers won't know what to do. I mean, do you even bother throwing over? Just let him go take second base. Like, at this point, like, this is the sort of speed. The, the, when you compare him to Chandler Simpson, though, he does have a touch more power than Chandler Simpson has ever mm -hmm. shown. So, if we're Absolutely. just comparing the two of them, I because they're both dynamic athletes. Like, level of athlete we don't normally see in baseball. So, Enrique Bradfield Jr. is just, I think, just amazing. G good leadoff hitter. Maybe on a championship championship team like you know they probably have someone else they want to bat lead off do the do the old school nl thing where he hits he's the second lead off hits nine amazing defense allows you to impact the game he's i i can't get enough of enrique bradfield jr like sign me up for any one of his defensive highlights